Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November 10th or 4th through to the 10th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the chariot in the upright position, followed then by the high priestess reverse. Next, we have the ten of swords upright, followed then by the uh, page of pentacles upright and lastly we have the two of pentacles in the upright position so your overall energy is the cancer energy here the chariot in the upright position which points to fast movement and moving forward with full confidence knowing we are a shoe in uh, it can indicate travel maybe some of you are thinking about taking a trip this week and going somewhere um Looks like all systems are go. It doesn't look like any any uh, problems really. It looks like um, looks like you're going to have a good time too. I like the yellow in this card, the solar plexus activation. It, you feel pretty confident moving forward with something. So that is good to have as an overall energy for sure. You're coming into the week with a high priestess in reverse. Get ready for a big reveal here. Uh, maybe some of you are taking a trip somewhere and you are going to hear some crazy information. <laughs> this can indicate uh, Pandora's box, boom, comes open. Could be secrets being spilled. It could be uh, learning something, maybe family secrets or things like that, or even something from your spouse or from a really good friend that you didn't know before. It could be your own secrets coming out. <laughs> in, um, anything can happen when the High Priestess is in reverse. And the next card is the Ten of Swords in the upright position. Perhaps some of you are hearing about something that somebody said or did and you didn't know about it, now you do, and now you feel like that was it. That was the last straw. I will not tolerate this any longer. So um, there's that, and uh, remember, tens do uh, represent endings, so this could represent the end of this type of energy. This could be something going on at work. This could be going on in your family, in a friendship, in a relationship, in any aspect. Remember, these are just general reads, so there could be something like that going on. It looks like whatever is coming out here sort of brings you to that sort of, this is the last straw moment. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Page of Pentacles here in the upright position, which is Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You could be getting a message from an Earth sign, or you could just simply be getting a message about um, Pentacle energy, which represents um, home, business, material goods, finances, things like that. So sometimes this could come up. Uh, say, for example, that you're getting a message maybe about a, a loan or a grant that you applied for. So it could be that, you know, the funds are on the way kind of thing. It's not coming in yet, but it could be that you just get the notification it, or that your, your grant was approved or your loan was approved. It can also uh, point to perhaps getting a... Um, a position which is like an intern position or something like that it can also represent uh, because the page of pentacles is known as a scholar so and sometimes pages are younger people so for some of you perhaps this is a child a son or a daughter who um, has messages concerning school it could even be um, finances maybe they need money for school things like that interesting or you could be approved for a student loan for you yourself to maybe take some courses and the last card you have is the two of pentacles in the upright position maybe some of you are getting message that the money's on the way and here you are finally getting the money and now you're trying to juggle it you're trying to juggle your um, your finances here this is a nice energy i like the two of pentacles because this is harmony in the midst of change something's changing up here and you're going into the transition very smoothly very easily Easily. So something is happening here. You could be moving homes, moving offices, moving from one place to the next. Uh, anything could be going on here. You could be taking on something in addition to what you're already doing. Say, for example, maybe um, maybe you're 
you know, working a full-time job and maybe you're taking a, a, taking courses on the side with the Page of Pentacles being there. It could be you're, you've decided to upgrade or take some extra courses or maybe courses in a different field or something like that. So, um, hmm, interesting reading here. Hmm, you'll have to let me know in the comment section below what's going on here, especially with the High Priestess. <laughs> In closing, I will be pulling a card from the Oracle deck. What do we have here for Sag? We have number 41, Soulmates. Hmm. Interesting. You could be meeting up with a soulmate. Maybe that's where you're traveling to. <laughs> could be meeting up with a soulmate or meeting a soulmate, some of you. Let me know in the comment section below if you're, you meet a soulmate. <laughs> this week. So that's what I have for you, my dear Sagittarius. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. And um, I want to thank you very much for joining me. And I uh, hope the reading helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.